Today is April 3rd, 2024, and today is Wednesday within the octave of Easter. Our gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the gospel of Luke chapter 24, verses 13 to 35. The two disciples were frustrated and disappointed. They were helpless and hopeless. You know, these are feelings felt by these two disciples on their way back to Amos. There's a sense of defeat. They're frustrated and disappointed because their expectations were not met. The death of Jesus shattered their hopes, shattered their dreams. They were put to shame because their Messiah was crucified. Sometimes in our life, you know, like the two disciples in today's gospel, we thought that everything was a failure and a misery. Sometimes like these two disciples on their way back to Amos, we thought God has let us down. But hey, my dear friends, the game is not over yet. The final buzzer does not sound yet. That's why this gospel reminding us that in our moment of disappointments, in our experience of frustrations, God walked for us. God is with us. God is with us even in our struggles in life. God is even within our struggles in our life. God is close to the brokenhearted. Remember that. Even in our most depressing moments, God can be found. Today, my dear friends, do not allow your frustrations your depressions, your sorrows, your pains, your problems, still the amazing presence of God in your life. We are not alone in our journey. That's the promise of God. I will be with you always until the end of time. We are not alone because when your heart is torn with grief, the Lord is near you. As what I've told you, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Allow God to travel with us in our pains, in our experience of frustrations. And finally, if you are frustrated, I suggest read the Bible. Attend the daily Mass in your parishes. Holy Scripture and Holy Mass are the two effective medicines for disappointments and frustrations. If you are stressed and if you are depressed, Read the Bible. If you are stressed and if you are depressed, go to your nearest parish and attend the daily Mass. We will never find a rainbow if we keep looking down because the stars are not in our feet. Friends, let all who seek the Lord rejoice. And that's our responsorial song for today. There is joy in searching God. And never allow your frustrations, your, your feeling of disappointment, blind you to recognize the presence of God in your life. If you love and like this reflection, kindly share it with your friends, share it with your family, make the word of God viral so that many will be blessed. Amen.